Hey, welcome back to the book of Malachi. Today we're in Malachi chapter 3. Let's read verse 1. That'll be what we'll look at this morning. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. God is going to send his messenger. Remember, everything he's talked about the previous mornings we've looked at, he's been pointing out their deficits, why the priests are all wrong and they're indifferent and they're just sort of like going through and doing their priestly duties. Their, their, their heart's not in it. He is sending his messenger. He will prepare the way before me, the Lord whom you seek. He will suddenly come to his temple. Now, we think immediately of John the Baptist, and he was basically kind of an Elijah figure. If we go back to the original prototype back there in 1 Kings 18, we have Elijah. He basically brought Israel to the test. Choose between Baal or choose the true God. Then we come along and we have other prophets, but another messenger type prophet we have is John the Baptist. And in 400 and some years from this time, he's going to prepare the way for Jesus. Jesus, the ultimate Messiah, the ultimate high priest. Jesus is coming. We might think this applies to Jesus, and, and I think it does in some respect. But there's kind of another time. There's a second coming, a literal, physical, personal, audible, visible second coming of Jesus in the flesh that's still scheduled. It's coming at some time, perhaps in the very, very near future. Will there be a servant that talks about God, that, that gets people to choose between A and B, choose between God or Satan on the way? If just before Jesus comes, yes, there will. And so when he says, behold, I send my messenger and he will prepare the way before me, God, I think, is talking here through his servant Malachi about a prophetic movement, a prophetic movement that will come at the last portion of time. It will be a people, a group who will serve as his messenger, like John the Baptist was, you know, foretelling the coming of the Messiah. Uh, the work of this people will be to give another kind of Elijah message at the end of time. We'll read more about that as we go through into chapter four. He says here that the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. Jesus would do his work. He would come to his temple Leviticus talks about the Day of Atonement. There is a Day of Atonement, which is those, those days came once a year, and they all were leading up to the ultimate realization of Jesus coming to his temple in heaven. Jesus coming to do the priestly work that he has as our great high priest. This is Malachi putting the people on notice, and we can praise God for it. Jesus himself is coming. The people need to be made ready. What's the business of the priests? Well, the business of the priest is always to be ready and to help others be ready, to be faithful to God in all the things that come their way. Here's the peace, though. Here's the peace for them and for us. When God calls us to faithfulness and he says, by the way, you know, I'm in this linear plan from, from the beginning of the Bible to the end. I, I, don't, I don't work in cycles and circles. I work in a, in a line. So he, he would send Jesus to defeat Satan that process would go on, and at the final conclusion of that, Satan would be defeated. Jesus comes literally. Jesus came and died on the cross. He went back to heaven to be our great high priest. This is an interesting line right here in Malachi because it's telling them that there's a day of accounting. There's a day when God comes and follows through, and he takes all the impositions against his plan, against righteousness, against justice, against love and kindness. He takes all those things, and he puts them away. Jesus comes again. And so here we have a charge to the priests, but the priesthood needed to be right so that the people could be right. Applying it to ourselves today. We are the priesthood of all believers. We live in the time, this window between Jesus' first coming and his second coming. And I think we're very close to the second coming time. We need to be used of him as his priests to help people be right. We need to be his messengers. We need to give this Elijah message, as it were, for the end of time. These priests really didn't come up to the line, but we want to be right. May, may he help us do that. Let's pray to him and ask him to do that. Dear Father in heaven, please, Lord, work for us. Work for our changing our hearts. Transform us by your Holy Spirit and help us to live and give this in time Elijah message to a world that so desperately needs it. There's good news. Jesus is coming. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And may God be with you and I both as we live and faithfully give this precious, timely, urgent message for this hour.